This video series will go over the training for Carl Zeiss Apatome Microscope, or Fluoro 2, at the ACRF Cancer Biology Imaging Facility at the Institute for Molecular Bioscience at the University of Queensland in Brisbane, Australia. This playlist will feature short videos covering the different basic operations of this microscope. Movies in this series will include a system overview, how to find your sample, capturing an image, Z-stacking, tiling, capturing both fluorescence and color bright field images at the same time, color slide scanning, and apatome imaging. This video will go over the basics of the system in an overview. This is an upright microscope where we have a motorized stage, two cameras, and an LED light source, as well as the apatome 2 module from Zeiss. To go over the layout of the microscope, the cool LED is at the back and doesn't require to be turned on. It's software controlled. Light comes in via a fiber at the back of the microscope to the front where we have a motorized filter turret with a number of specialized fluorescent filters. The excitation light then travels down to the sample through one of many highly specialized imaging objectives, ranging from air through to high NA oil immersion objectives. Emission light then travels up from your sample back through the filter cube to the fluorescent monochrome camera. Transmitted light from the lamp below the stage travels through the motorized condenser, through your sample and out through the left port to the color camera. The motorized stage is controlled by the joystick or in the software. Focus is via the focus knobs under the stage and they are either coarse or fine adjusting. On all microscopes, you can adjust the eyepieces by adjusting the diopters. For this system, the dots should be aligned to position zero to begin with. The startup sequence for this microscope involves logging into the computer, powering on the microscope via the gray button at the rear left of the stand, waiting for the load screen to finish loading, and then by starting the ZenBlue software on the desktop. If the computer is off at the beginning of your session, turn it on by using the power button at the front of the computer stand, and it may take several minutes to start up. Unless you're performing apatome imaging, the apatome device should be in the out position. If you do want to perform apatome imaging, the module should be gently slid into the microscope stand by placing one hand on the microscope and one on the device. There are notches for positioning the device in the in and out positions. Be careful when sliding the device to the out position as it can come completely out of the microscope. There is a beep noise when the device is placed into and out of the microscope. When you launch the software, you have four main tabs, including locate, acquisition, processing, and analysis. In the software, you can also adjust the zoom level of the components of the screen, and you can reset to the workspace that you're interested in if you manage to close anything by accident. The locate tab is used for finding your sample through the eyepieces and has a number of quick selections for the different channels and optical configurations, as well as some tools for setting exposure live and snapping images. The acquisition tab contains the information for capturing images using one of the many imaging experiments that are pre-programmed in the software. The processing tab is useful for processing images after you've captured them, such as performing the apatome processing method, both 2D and 3D, as well as in batch mode. The analysis tab is used for performing measurements. Under the acquisition mode, we have pre-programmed in one of four experiments for you to use. Wide field monochrome should be used for standard fluorescence imaging both 2D and 3D. Wide field color mode allows you to capture both fluorescence images as well as 
Brightfield or DIC images using the respective color or monochrome camera. This mode is a compromise using a 50-50 mirror between the two cameras. Samples in this mode will appear slightly dimmer compared to the Widefield monochrome. However, you can use the color camera to record your bright field images. Color slide scanning is to be used only when you have bright field imaging in your samples. This mode will limit the exposure time but give you the benefit of speed to scan large areas such as when needing to do slide scanning. This mode cannot be used for fluorescence imaging. Apatome mode is used with the Apatome device and it is an optical sectioning method developed by Zeiss. It is a type of pseudo confocal like image and is best for fluorescence imaging where you can get a thinner optical section with this device.